Well, some of them may look like gold, but they're microbes and they're living in lava beds in Tule Lake, California. Yeah, NASA and university scientists are discovering how these life forms survive inside of those caves. News has Jessica DeNova investigates how this could be a golden opportunity to understanding life on Mars. The only thing standing between a team of scientists and in-depth research at the Lava Beds National Monument is money. Their goal is to understand life on Mars through work on Earth. Without costly and very involved complex drilling or excavation programs. Kansas State University geology professor Sagata Data says his group's multi-million dollar grant application is under review by NASA. The National Park Service also has a say in whether the project moves forward. Katrina Smith is helping preserve natural resources. We assess that and um, decide whether or not that impact is worth the knowledge that they would get out of it and that also we would get out of it. Available to the team will be temperature and relative humidity measurements. The National Park Service has 124 of these climate data loggers hidden throughout 31 of its 700 caves. Each cave has three, one at the entrance, another one in the middle, and the last one in the deep zone. Those numbers have been recorded hourly since 2012. Scientists want to know how changes in those and other physical conditions affect life within these walls. Though the cache isn't quite there, researchers have struck gold kind of. These microbes don't like water, so they push it out. Add some light and you get some shine. Microbes are a golden opportunity for researchers. Smith says previous research from the University of New Mexico shows these dark tunnels are filled with them. They looked at about a dozen different caves and collected samples and found 14 different phylum of bacteria. Dr. Data hopes by continuing work in lava tubes on Earth, his team will add to the list of life forms in them, answering questions about the ones on this red planet. Covering your news in Tule Lake, Jessica De Nova, News 10. National Park Service asks visitors to enjoy microbes with just their eyes because if destroyed, it takes decades for them to grow back. More preliminary research is scheduled for mid-June at Lava Caves in New Mexico and in Tule Lake.